After everything, after all the escape attempts to right here now, I think that the next leader in the next decade, that might be you. After trying to get away so many times, after so many years, you found yourself free, dead to us. You could have gone wherever it was you wanted to go. And you came back. You've become a powerful story, powerful symbol, one the CRM may need to tell to win the hearts of the people who will see some of their freedoms delayed yet again. I sacrificed, Okafor sacrificed. I would expect the same for you, but you said it, you already have. Who's the person closest to you who's died in all of this? My son, he's who I saved, tearing out that man's throat. But you couldn't save him in the end. No. What if I told you you would never have to suffer that kind of loss again? That wherever you were running to, whoever you were running to, you could keep them safe, you could bring them to us. Family, friends, a love, I don't give a damn. They will be spared from our march whenever we would have found them. I'll take that chance. I'm taking that chance on you. Portland will die, and this force will take over the Civic Republic. We will begin our march on the countryside. The next world will begin. And through that, somehow, some way, we will survive. We will burn things to bring things back. The sword that kills is the sword that brings life. Let me ask you a question, Grimes. I'm just gonna ask it and look in your eyes. So I want a sword. Don't let it No! No! you wanted to and then save the world. Why? The world isn't gonna win. It is. I'm trying to make sure we don't. Goddamn Okafor. I never lost my son. I lost myself. He brought me back. My wife brought me back. We're the sword that kills. We're the sword that gives life. One life, one unstoppable life. We're not dead. Ah!